I'm really sorry that I'm not able to attend tonight for the launch of Refugee Week 2011. It is important in such challenging times that we can showcase the contribution that asylum seekers and refugees make to Scotland. This year is particularly important as we celebrate the 60th anniversary of the 1951 Refugee Convention. Over the 60 years since the UN Convention was created, I believe it has become more vital than ever, a tool that has saved millions of lives and as war and unrest continues to ravage our planet, must continue to do so. In Scotland we have a proud history of welcoming refugees and if the people of Scotland decide that we should become independent, we would ensure that Scotland would sign up to the Convention. I would like to pass on my congratulations to the makers of Courage. It's a truly powerful and moving film, which really reminds me why we still need the Convention today, 60 years on. The filmmakers had to draw on their reserves of courage to escape the horrors of war and persecution and have made difficult journeys to get here. We need people like them in Scotland to help contribute to a diverse, energetic and exciting country to live in. As the First Minister said in his opening speech to the Parliament, our new Scotland is built on the old custom of hospitality. We offer a hand that is open to all. Scotland's strength has always lain in its diversity. Events such as Refugee Week highlight that diversity through the wide range of arts, cultural and educational activities on offer. Refugee Week gives the people of Scotland an opportunity to embrace and share different cultures and traditions and to celebrate the wonderfully diverse country that Scotland has become. The Scottish Refugee Council coordinates Refugee Week Scotland. Last year there were over 110 events, this year there are over 115. Year on year the events increase, a truly remarkable achievement which is only made possible by coordinating the hard work of all the organisations involved. This is an excellent example of partnership working. We must continue to work together to ensure that the people of Scotland receive the help and support they need, no matter where they come from. We're now in a new era and there will be challenging times ahead, not least with regards to funding. But I'm confident that with the excellent relations that have been established and by pulling together, we can continue to be a Scotland that we are truly proud of and want to be a part of. I hope that you all have a wonderful evening and that it is a very successful week. And by the array of events on offer, it can't fail to be a successful week.